Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Kodus Arcade again. In this tutorial, I will be talking about how we can install Postman in our system. Before that, we need to know about what is Postman and where it is required, right? We will talk about that as well. But before that, I want every one of you, whoever is watching this video, to please like and share our videos with your friends and family and whoever is interested to learn. And also, if you really like our videos, Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well and hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications on our further updates. Thank you. So let's get started. As I said, today's video will be on the installation of Postman. So before beginning with Postman, we need to know what Postman is all about. So let me tell you a brief explanation on Postman and where it is used. So Postman is a tool used in API testing. So let me open this PDF. So before that, we also need to know about APIs. So basically, like whenever we connect to a plug point in our home, what do we get? We generally get electricity, okay? So our plug points that we have at our home gives us electricity. Similarly, API or application programming interface gives us data. So API is an interface which gives data instead of electricity. So when we connect from our client machine to the server, we need an API so that we can send and receive requests and response. Simply speaking, API is an interface which helps us to test data whether it is received in a proper format or not. In order to test web-based APIs, we use Postman. As you can see here, this is the definition of API. An API is essentially an interface to a server that has some data or some actions. So either we can read a request or send some data along with the request. All these things we will be talking about in our later pass. But in this video we will be focusing on how to install the postman tool for api testing okay so here you can see postman is a tool let me just zoom it a little bit more so that okay i hope it is visible now so postman is a tool used to interact with web-based apis okay any apis that work over the internet we test them with the help of a tool called postman okay so basically there are two ways of using postman okay we can use it directly on the browser that is one way and there is one more way to use the standalone application today i will be showing you how you can use the standalone application there is one more way which is not preferred right now because it is deprecated okay the third way is a google chrome extension it is deprecated so nobody uses it right now so let's see how we can install postman First thing first, we need to go to the URL. I have shared the link here. So don't worry guys, I will share you the link in the description as well and all the necessary documents related to this, I will share in the description, okay? So let's go to this link and see how we can install Postman on our systems. I'm clicking on this, okay? You can see it takes us to this particular link, postman.com slash downloads, okay? Or else simply put, you can go to your browser, any browser and search for Postman. Okay, and you will be redirected to this particular URL. And here you can see this option, Windows 64 bit. I'm just going to click on this and let me just accept the cookies. Okay, so here, let me just click on this 64 bit. Okay, so it's asking me to download this setup file. So I'll do that, save that. It's around 160 MB, you can see here. So I will let it finish the download and then I will start the installation. It will take some time depending on the speed of your internet. Let it get finished. Uh, it will hardly take around 10 more seconds as you can see here. Okay. It's done. So you can see the icon has changed. Let me go to that particular folder so that I can show you. Yeah, you can see Postman Win64 setup. I will double click on this and the installation is very easy and step by step. Let me minimize this folder. 
so that I can come back to the desktop. Okay. I can see here. You can either create a preview account or sign in. So what I will do? I have my own account, so I can just do that. Let me just sign in. If you don't have it, you can just create a new account. I already have my account, so my email ID is. I can sign with Google. So let's do it. Yeah, I have this account here. It won't take much time. Yeah, I can see here. It says open Postman and. If you do this, it will open up Postman in the standalone application. Okay, so you can see here. I already have my account, so I'm doing this open. For others, you can just sign up and create a new account and just go and open the application. Okay, so I'll, let me minimize this. And you can see this is how the Postman tool looks like when you begin it. And there is an update right now. I will not do it right now. I will do it later. So this is the UI or the interface of the Postman tool. This is how it looks like. And you can see there are so many things here. You can send a request by clicking on this button. Or else, what you can do is, you can go to Workspaces. You can click on My Workspace. And you can also create a new workspace and start working on that. Okay. And if this... UI looks a little bit bright. You can also choose the dark theme from here. So what I will do, I will go to this option. Let's see what we get here. I will go to view. And if I try to go to the other options, no, it's not here. The UI has changed a little bit. So what we will do is we will go to this gear icon and let's see if we get any themes or not. Okay. settings yes you can see here so let me repeat this again go to this gear icon go to settings and then go to themes here you have two options this is the white theme or the light theme and this is the dark theme this is what i like most so i'll click on this dark theme you can see it has got changed and close this okay so this is how you can install postman on your system this installation step is very very easy is no problem at all but if you are first time users what you guys can do is you can easily sign up and create an account and then with the help of that account you can log into this postman tool okay i already had an account so i had used that account and logged into my account okay after that as i told you you can go to the workspace create a workspace or just click on my workspace as i already have it so if you see here, if I click on this, it will go to my workspace. See, these are my earlier things that I have done. For you guys, you can go to workspace. You can create a new workspace and start working on Postman. And after that, you can simply start sending requests. Okay, if you just close this overview, if you just click on plus, you can see here, all the API requests, get, put, post, patch, delete and all. Are here you can get started with it okay so guys this was how to install postman in your system and we will continue with a proper tutorial on api testing with postman in our later videos for the time being this is it for this video i hope you liked it if you have any queries regarding this you can ping me in the comment section i will be very happy to clarify all your doubts thank you for watching and if you like this video last but not the least I request you all to please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and like this video. Please, please, please don't forget that and happy learning. Bye-bye. I'm signing off for now.